In the past, we've seen a handful of streamers call Valorant boring to watch, and we've also talked a bit about the game's viewership and how long big streamers will actually stick around to continue streaming this game. But we've got another one coming at you because the game has finally seen its full release, which means that we get to talk about how it's doing post-beta. So in this video, we'll be talking about streamers who dropped Valorant once Valorant dropped. Among those is Courage. He was running the Courage and Nade Shot show along with Hiko when the topic of Valorant came up and he started explaining his issues about playing and streaming the game and he makes some good points that definitely apply to other streamers, but let's look at it right now. I have not played since launch yet, since it came out a couple days ago, but I definitely want to give it more of a shot. I think the tough thing for me is viewership is just not there on YouTube for Valorant, it feels, for at least at, on my stream. I'm, I, I couldn't... I have a Warzone audience, sure, and a Fortnite audience, and, and now trying to grow a GTA audience. But like when Valorant came out, it was that big shiny thing. Granted, we didn't have drops, which is a whole different subject um, with how crazy that was for Twitch. But like my first day on Valorant, I had like 3,500 viewers compared to where I was averaging 10 to 15,000 for, for Warzone. And that was on launch day. So I can only imagine how weaker, much weaker it would have gotten after launch day. So. That, that's just why I haven't played it that much. I, I enjoy the game, sure, but not enough for me to be like, all right, I'm going to hemorrhage my YouTube audience just to grind some Valorant. It's, it's, it's a tough thing that I think as a creator, you, I'm sure you know about too, where it's like, I mean, you play a lot of WoW. I think you play a lot of WoW, right? Or have, have in the past? Yeah. I like, used to, yeah. Bro, if there's one thing you know, it's like you'd, you'd switch the WoW category and your viewership would go down by like 80%, no matter who you were half the damn time, it felt like. So... Um, that's kind of where I've been with Valorant. Like, I want to play it more, but at the same time, I just can't justify it. I can't. It's tough. So Courage doesn't want to stream Valorant simply because the viewership isn't there. You know, he's built massive followings on other games like Call of Duty, Fortnite, and now he's working on Grand Theft Auto, of course, but he finds it a lot tougher to have a strong viewer base for Valorant. He said it hemorrhages his views, so he couldn't really play it on stream if he wanted to. He also brings up Valorant having drops, which was obviously a huge part of the game's viewership during the beta and a large part of the appeal of streaming it in the first place. He says that he only had about 3,500 viewers during the beta's actual launch, where obviously, you know, when he streams other games, he gets way more viewers, and he believes that had he continued streaming it, his numbers would have only gone down. And before the game was even released, Doc was already calling it boring to watch. I remember him calling the game a snooze fest, and he doesn't really stream it anymore either, you know? He didn't even... He didn't even have drops, he still benefited from them, but once those drops were gone, he pretty much stopped streaming the game entirely. And he's not the only one who finds it boring. Even Summit, who's obviously a former Counter-Strike pro and is very used to the type of gameplay that Valorant brings to the table, he called it boring. He said that the map designs were kind of lacking, he felt as if it wasn't nearly as hype as CSGO, and he said that the agent abilities kind of dampened the viewing experience in a way. And of course, you won't find Summit streaming Valorant much more anymore either because well, partly because he enjoys playing other games like Sea of Thieves, but also because the viewership isn't entirely there. And then we can even look over at the Mixer side of things, where you'll find that Ninja has been playing Valorant consistently nowadays, but his view numbers have declined a lot because of it. Since Valorant's release, he averages just over 3,000 viewers on it, but on other games, you know, like Fortnite and whatnot, he was getting at least 7,000 viewers on average and maybe a bit more past that. So that means that Valorant took over half his viewer base. So as much as I love this game and as much as some streamers may love this game, it's clear that the viewership isn't entirely there for it and that's why we're seeing less and less of these big, big streamers actually streaming it. You know, obviously the game was just released not too long ago so it's possible that its popularity will rise over time. But from what we've seen, it appears that Valorant is in a sort of decline and that trend might continue as more streamers views get affected by it. But until next time, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all very soon. Take it easy. And bye-bye.